Hello everyone, welcome to Mordheim, City of the Damned. Every character in the game will be a character made by you. It'll have your name and backstory that you provide for me. I'm going to go through their names in just a moment. You also voted for the undead in a pretty large majority, which means I'll be playing the new undead. It's a game where you've got to go into a city called Mordheim. A piece of Morslia, the moon above, fell upon it. And now you're here to get that type of warp stone. Alright, let's go look at our leader, a vampire. A very good backstory, too. I'm not going to read all of it, but it's a very good backstory. Lucas Harkon. The vampire known as Lucas Harkon in life was a man in arms to a knight in the Bretonian Order of Bloodkeep who went by the name Dennis Mark. Now, I don't believe Bretonians were there, but that's okay. When Wallet came and challenged all in the Order to single combat and was undefeated, he turned the knights of the Order that survived into the Blood Dragons of Bloodkeep, and the termination of most of the servants and men at arms began. While most fell screaming without a fight or attempting to flee, Mark was the only peasant who not only fought, but managed to slay one of the newly turned nobility. If you look over here, there's more to his backstory again. In recognition of his fighting spirit, Wallach bestowed upon Mark the gift of vampirism. And there's more to it. All right. We have Lucas Harkon. Let's go back. I'm going to give him a new weapon later on. We have a Doomweaver. Not a Necromancer, but I had to go ahead and give him a name and backstory too. Alright, we've got Amon the Reviver. He had a pet bat called Cuddlekins, and they were killing people in the Empire. But they were killed by Griffin Knights, and they had to get away. But Cuddlekins did not make it. And now he wants revenge for his Cuddlekins, and he's now fighting with the undead, trying to kill more people of the Empire. Let's go over here. We have our henchmen now. Three ghouls. I thought that would be funny. Prince Rokoxi. One of the lesser ghoul kings, Prince George, was a popular ruler of a powerful nomadic horde of ghouls. Unfortunately, that strength made his clan a potential asset to those with a deep knowledge of necromantic lore. The necrog Gazavki managed to influence the minds of many of the ghouls against George and it's only thrall prince in his place. A very good backstory, too. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, look down that over here. All right. Let's go back. One more. Actually, two more. Over here, we've got Van Gogli, a sophisticated man who was mysteriously turned into a ghoul. Van Gogli. All right. Then we have the White Rancidness. Stuck in a crypt full of rotting cheese, and his ghoul smelled horrible. So bad that even the other undead intentionally avoided him, so they had to face the smell. Re-risen by the Vamp Count, he now stalks more time with the only people who can stand his stench. <laughs> Pretty good. And I'm only copy-pasting whatever they put here. All right, so I need to go to the shop right now. We have a war party. I can't save, right? I can't do anything. I can only deal with like what we have. If I lose anyone, if anyone is injured, I have to let them die. That's it. We do have passive skills, and I'll be looking at that more later on. But for now, I want to go over to the shop before we go out and try to find some stuff. If you're good at the game, give me advice. I will more than be happy to read all of it. I need any help I can get. All right, let's go look around real quick. I need to go check out. I want a two-handed weapon. I wonder what I can give to my ghouls, and they're pretty good at dodging. I know that much. Here's a helmet. I wonder if I can give it to my vampire. I'm not going to do that right now. I want him to be relatively quick. He's very powerful, as he well should be. I'm going to give him a great sword. I'm going to buy one of those. I don't know if my Doomweaver can use anything crazy. I could give him, like, I don't know, something else. But let's keep on looking. I'm going to go over here and get a great hammer. Anything two-handed would be beautiful. Or even if they want to will two maces, I mean, that would be entertaining. It's relatively cheap. I begin with a fair amount of gold, which is good. I'm going to keep on looking. There's a little bit that I can wear. Okay, that's for magic. That's for armor. Let's keep on looking. Mandrake Root is over here. That will help out my armor absorption. But it has a few issues. And Bugman's L. You know, that famous bit of L made by the Bugman clan. All right. It will refresh in eight days. Let's go back over here right now. I'm going to go look at my leader. And I definitely want to change up his gear. I could give him some stuff if I had it. But I don't have a lot to really give him. Let's go look over here real quick. I want to give him a great sword. That would be kind of just what I want him to use. He's going to be very deadly. Look at him. And that's more of a Harkon thing to do. If you're going to be part of that lineage of vampires, yeah, you're probably going to use a deadly two-handed weapon. I don't really have much more for him. I don't want to give him too much. But I think that would be good for him. Yeah, we're going to have a very loose amount of equipment in the very beginning, but again, that is okay. Let's go back real quick over here. I'm going to go look at my hero. I'm not sure what he's able to use. I don't know too much about the Doomweaver. I mean, he's pretty evil looking. I like his helmet. He's like a birdman. A deadly birdman. We got a spear. Can I give him two weapons like that? Can I? Ooh, I can. Oh, 
That'll be cool. Ha oh, ha ha. Cuddlekins, you shall have your revenge. Okay. And then we have henchmen. Let's go look at our henchmen real quick. Over here in the inventory. Here's a great hammer. They're going to come in whacking people with a giant hammer. That should be quite a bit of fun, too. All right, let's go back again. He's got his own weapon. We've got another one over here. We probably won't have any skills right now. Okay. You get a great weapon, too. Very evil looking. What about you? Can I give you... I'm going to give you two weapons. If I can't give you one great weapon, I'll give you two weapons to use. A bit like that. Oh, check it out. My stinky ghoul is ready for combat now. We can go to a skirmish, a veteran system, or the campaign. We're going over to the campaign. Okay, visit the campaign screen to select a mission for your warband to undertake. Missions are randomly generated and contain varying levels of weird stones and treasure. You may send scouts to reveal more potential mission locations to expand your choices. You may only attempt one mission per day, regardless of success or failure. Occasionally, you will receive a mission request from your faction. These are unique missions that advance the story and contain specific objectives. Yeah, you got three factions. One's a main faction, but you can sell to other factions too whenever you gather things like weird stone, warp stone. Okay, we're looking at it right now. Average weird stone. Three strike teams and disperse in the area. What about over here? Pillagers. All right. Surrounding the buildings. That sounds rather fascinating. I don't know how well I'll do, but we're going to find out. It's going to be mission number one for us. I've got my team. No one in reserve yet. Let's go launch right now. Your scouts report to you. That a rival warband has been spotted in the area pillaging houses. While they are dispersed and distracted, you deploy your own patrols in the hope of surprising the enemy. Okay. I have an optional mission. Let's go check it out right now. A new round has started. All right. If you look at the little ring around me, and you look on the bottom left under that green bar, if I move past that, I end up consuming more... I don't know what it's called, like energy maybe, I'm not too sure. But at the moment, I need to use my markers. I'm pressing the middle mouse button to do what I'm doing right now. I need to find out where they're at. We've got, oh, humans. Wonderful. Who do we have over here? Wings of Terror, right? That's my cart. I have all of my, well, actually two ghouls and my vampire over here. So we'll probably advance over here. I can leave markers so we can rally up. I need to, so are they like all in the middle? They might all be in the middle. There's a lot of weird stone over here. We're looking at some scavenging that I can do, but they're probably all in the middle. So I definitely want to head through here, maybe. Head up there. Just so I can get away from here. I can jump around, too. See, look at that. It's using points up as I move ahead. I'm probably going to change up to an ambush stance. I don't know too much about the Doomweaver. He looks very cool, though. Very intimidating. Okay, perception. Base chance, 40%. Alertness goes up. Okay, let me go look at it again. I need to be careful in the very beginning as I'm trying to get to my party. All right, let's go. Over here, that's what I'll be doing. And I get to wait there in my ambush stances. I do know there's more than one stance that you can utilize. All right, unwavering, buff, leader, and look at me. I'm a beautiful, beautiful vamp. We're about to advance forward. I'm not going to jump ahead. I'm going to try to find that enforcer. I shouldn't probably be going alone, but I'm pretty damn tough. I'm a vampire. I'm meant to be tough. I mean, look at my damage. 40 to 52. I can't really get to him quite yet, but maybe, just maybe, I can beat him up. Let's go look at the map real quick. All right, I'm right here. We got an enforcer to my right. Or, yeah, we got someone over here. Which means I want to go over there eventually. I'm trying to get everyone together. There's a bunch of weird stone behind me. I can let my ghouls pick it up if I really want to. I can even jump up if I want to as well. Okay. Perception. If they come by me, I'm going to be able to find whatever I can. All right. Ambush now. I'm a leader, so I can do quite a bit more than my normal henchmen. Enemy's turn right now. Are they able to see me or shoot me? There's no way. I'm trying to get my Doomweaver over to the remainder of my warband. You've got to kind of unify if you want to be okay. Oh, there's one of them up there. Are they coming for me? And then my henchmen will be ready. I can't let them get to my cart either. That would be bad. Yeah, I've got to find whatever I can here. Waiting for opponent. Okay. Let's go look at the map real quick. I begin over here. We have one marker right there. Can I get rid of that by clicking on top of it again? I can. All right, I want to head towards my vampire. I don't know. 
Actually, I'm going to head over here. So let's go follow these markers. That's going to help me know where I need to go. Just so I'm staying together with the general idea of my party being cohesive, maybe. Yeah, they're all over here then. That's what it looks like. There's a lot of weird stone, though. I want to pick that up. I probably shouldn't be too greedy, but I am going to be too greedy. Okay, I can only ambush right now. Look at all my goals. I could really stage a really good ambush if they come after me. I really could. And I've got a great weapon. Oh, yeah, here's my one ghoul who's very far away. So I'm going to have to take a little bit of time to potentially get over here, then get over here. It won't be too easy. I'll have to get rid of a few more markers. Yeah, you have to manually get rid of them. But it's a great way to plan out your movements. So I definitely advise that you use that, even as a new player. You know, I'm new, but... All right, we're facing that way. I need to be facing the other way, right? Let me go look at that real quick. Yeah. Or can I not turn? That would be a long journey. It's going to be a long one. Can I go through here? I can go through a building, maybe. Yeah, can I open that door? Can I open that up? Shoot. Is there anything in here? Maybe I can jump. Let me look around real quick. There's an upstairs over here. And I can jump up or down. What more is there? Yeah, he's going to be out there for a little while. I wouldn't want to find a ghoul in a house, though. That would be pretty terrifying. Okay, we have our little lesser ghoul king. He's pretty cool. I like his backstory a lot, actually. I think it's pretty interesting. Okay, we're going to head over here. That's all I really need to know about where he's going. So there's a red marker. So now I can head over here, and then I'll take a right. I'm not going to jump up yet. I'm going to try to get some of that weird stone. There's a lot of it, so I might as well pick some of it up. But yeah, the amount of damage that you can do early on is very beneficial. When you have henchmen and all that, you want to be able to hit really hard. For Sigmar, what are you doing? I don't like that. You're too holy. Targeting nobody. All right. Enemy turn again. I don't know how many... Well, they should have the equivalent of what I have, I believe. That's what I'm thinking. Merchant Quarter, Map 2, Pillagers. I have beautiful hair. Look at me. I wonder if I invest in, like, vampire gel. Which is, like, what? Blood gel? Plasma? Yeah. Plasma. Is it my turn again? Are they going to let me do things? Probably not. They're looking around. Yeah, your initiative is going to be at the very top, and that kind of determines the turn order. Like in a lot of tabletop games, you got initiative. Waiting for opponent. They're taking a little while. I wonder if I can just, like, look around and watch them. But yeah, they're all over here. They're just all chilling out. We got one enforcer. I don't know how tough they'll be. They have their a cart over here. Has started. Okay. We have a new round. Round two. I'm over here. We've got some baddies over to my right if I really wanted to head down there. That might be easier. I might just kind of head up and begin to rejoin with my main party. There's a lot of weird stones. So I kind of like that idea of having everyone together. All right. We got Boon of Ruin. Boon of Ruin. That's a... Spell is what I'm assuming. I'm not too sure. Again, there's a lot I don't know. Ambush stance, switch weapons. I'm not doing that. I'm going to not delay. But I'm definitely going to keep on reading more. But I know the basics on how to move around. So I can at least do that. Okay, interaction. We're going to gather it up. Oh, yeah. Pick that up. Mm. Objectives updated. Warp effect. Whoa. What will it do to me? A curse effect. All right, can I get more? Hey, I'll pick up more. I don't know what it's going to do to me. Objectives updated. Don't do it. Ah! More warping. I can't help it. Must gather more warp stone. We'll keep on doing that. Objectives updated. I mean, there's so much of it in one area. That's pretty crazy. Okay, that's probably going to limit me a little bit, but that's okay. I'm not using my boon of ruin yet. Ambush stance. We're going to be in the area. Might as well be in the area. We're by our vampire, who is now under my control. Could probably head up there and go fight someone. They have someone over there. I should, probably shouldn't be going alone, but I can't help it. I feel like I can do a pretty good job at killing whoever. I could scavenge, but I just want to know. Where are they? Oh, look at me. I'm sketty. Alright, I'm going to try to climb. Oh, no, it fell. Oh, vampire fell. Oh. Now I'm vampire mad. Let's try again. There we go. Alright, you didn't watch that. But you did, so now I have to murder you. You shouldn't have looked at me. I don't know why you looked at me. Terror test. Success. Alright. I'm not going to dodge. I'm not going to flee. Which means I'm going to attack. 
All right, so there's like two dice rolls from what I'm aware of. The first one will determine if you even hit. The next one will de determine if they parry or dodge. So let's go over here and try it out right now. Four Sigmar, more to their movement range. I like her armor, but I don't like her Hildegard, Sudenheim. Sudenheim, it is time for you to die, Sudenheim. I'm Lucas Hardikat, and now you die. Ooh, we did a lot of damage. I mean, in only one attack or two, we've done a lot. And they will allow me to dodge. My hero alone is a monster in the early game. I mean, a literal one, sure, but a monster. Okay, here's my right, my right, my white rancidness who's going to move over here through the middle. I could have them all go through here, but we can keep together. I want to watch my car. If they get my car, I think they can like get some crazy stuff from me. I don't want that. I don't like that. So I'm going to head through here, maybe scavenge a little bit, get some stone. But we have our group now together, so we can go venture out all together. That's going to be pretty useful. I should probably have my goals do the actual gathering instead. I mean, there's a little bit of scavenging we can do too. I wonder if they'll try to fight me. That'll be interesting. But my overall objective right now is to beat them up. I have an optional one. And they want me to secure like over half of the weird stone. Whoa, I dodged it. Hell yeah. She couldn't even hit me. <laughs> okay, now you're trying to parry. All right. I saw another one of them too. I know I saw her in the background. Let's gather some more weird stone might as well do that the game is actually really cool when i first played i was like oh my goodness it's so overwhelming but i think that's like an initial effect for a lot of people for a very harsh game but like now that i've been playing it it's actually pretty cool i like it objectives updated. there you go prince Rikosi. that's okay it's okay we're gathering a lot of that weird stone oh a shard objectives that's much bigger updated. It's okay. We have a vampire leader. I think we're going to be okay, right? Shoot, I had a feeling. Yeah, I don't have the room for it. Darn it. Will it still affect me? Please don't affect me. Alright, we're good. Let's move up now. We need to go help out our leader. I'm coming, my lord. <laughs> it's a very good thing I don't have to voice act these guys. I mean, I could. But I'm okay right now. Alright, let's go find out how I'm going to get the hell out of here. There's got to be like a way... All right, you did it. Ghoul powers, go. Can I open that door? Will they let me open that door? I'd like to. No, I don't see any interaction with it. Yeah, I don't think I can do much in here. Shoot. What a waste. I was like, maybe I can do things in here. No. There is no do in here. All right. Let me jump back down. Please don't fail. Oh, no. Ah, oh, my leg. Okay, we need to keep on moving. Hold on. Can I move further? No, I can't. I have like one ghoul wandering the buildings, chilling out. Ah, Isolde. Will she come up here? <gasps> My ghoul. Don't do it. Ooh, 22 damage. That's okay. I, I got a Doom Weaver. I'll come get you. Is that their leader? I wonder if it is. Fred is over there. Don't you kill my ghoul. I don't know what she's doing. I want to really get my team here. I only have, um, what, two ghouls and a Doomweaver, I think? The third ghoul is just kind of gone. <laughs> I really want to kill her. But yeah, from what I'm aware of... Oh, cool, you fell. From what I'm aware of, early on, your spellcasters are very weak. It's only later when they become amazing. I want a Necromancer, though. I'll definitely sub out a Doomweaver for a Necromancer. But I'm glad a lot of you gave me backstories, though. So now I can have pretty great stories, and I know who these characters are, and that really kind of attaches me to them. Which is kind of tragic, because some of you may die or get injured. And they're just climbing around. I don't know what they're doing. They're just kind of chilling out. They're like, okay, let's climb around. Climb. Climb around. Time for a fight. Round, has Round three. Hey. Hey. Well, that affects my henchmen in a negative way. It's a buff. So, difficulty normal. That would be a benefit for you, right? Yeah. That's what I'm assuming. I mean, it's, it's a boon. So, it should be a good thing. It's what I'm assuming. All right. Now, can I go beat her up? I'd like to go beat her up if possible. 
I don't think I can actually get over there to beat her up. I'm being blocked right now. Shoot. Alright. I'm being blocked by my ghoul. I didn't know if they would come down here. Otherwise, I would have moved around. I could actually jump down and go get her from behind. Or I could just kill you right now. Darn it. I really wanted to get her right now. I don't want to flee. Not a great chance, but I want to try it again. Got her. She's out of action. One completely gone. Alright, I would like to jump down because I can trap that other character. Yeah, we made it. <laughs> I did it. Yeah, I'm glad I got the two-handed weapons. Those are very handy. A terror test. Oh, darn it. You made it. How dare you. But doesn't matter. I'm behind you now. Hey, how's it going? Their turn now. They're going to be moving behind me. That's okay. You're not going to have a very good... T oh, whoa. You made a terror test too. Military training. There's another one of them. Okay, the white rant is... Okay, shoot. Okay, can I jump up in any way? I'd like to jump up somewhere. If I could. It won't let me do it over here. I, I can jump down. That's doable. I'd like to be able to... I can't seem to move over there. That one ghoul is blocking me. Shoot. Yeah. It looks like I can't like squeeze around. Otherwise, I would try that out. Delay. That's interesting. It's performing a delay. And here's Van Gogh. Just kind of around here. I'll go out, though. I think we can find our way. I wish I had my way there from the very beginning. He was kind of scattered, though. Which was very annoying for him to be so far away. Alright, so now if I turn down, I'm not too far. Let's make sure I'm facing the right way. Okay, cool. Alright. At least I'm heading in the general direction. I won't make it there in time, I'm pretty sure. It's a shame that I have that one ghoul in the way, though. Ooh. She's doing a lot of damage to him. I'm gonna have to, like... I can't move him back. He's probably trapped. Okay, you missed. Good. Yeah. You know what? I think I'm gonna put him in a dodge stance, too, if I can. Or can I move him back? I don't think I can disengage right now. I could do a lot of damage to that person. Heavy armor. I think I'm gonna dodge. I really wanted to move, but I'm gonna dodge right now. Yeah, that's how I'll do it. I can only have one movement, so I might as well dodge. Now what I really wanna do, I wanna move behind them somehow. I really wanna try to find a way to get behind them. I'm looking around now. I could head over here, then go around, because I can't seem to make it. Though I can't go very far either, which makes it difficult. I had my vampire go so far ahead on his own. I did get quite a bit of the... I should have enough of the weird stone. I have a lot of it. I haven't searched like every point. Alright, let's go look around. They're still doing their thing right now. Don't I look adorable? I think I'm adorable. Are you coming after me again? Bet you are. Don't do it, lady. I'll have to kill her. Could go after her leader, but, you know, that person's dodging. So that's how I can just like switch around. A new round has All right, started. my turn. I really wanted to get over here and like beat her in the face repeatedly with my everything. There's no way for me to get through here. I could also go around. I might have to. The boon of ruin. Immune to all alone, fear, terror, unwavering. Okay, so that's a mechanic effect type. Wish I could jump up. That'd be nice. I like to be able to jump up, but well, let me do that. I'll just have to try to run around. I could jump up here then. Let me jump. Come on, don't fail. Yeah, we did it. So now we can go. Oh, perfect. All right, next time we're here, we're going to be able to flank them. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. My turn to go after... No, I don't want to go after her. I want to go after the one in front of me. Will they not let me do that? I took some damage already. Cancel. So they won't let me switch targets right now. I don't think they will. There's a way to do it, I'm sure, but... Shoot. I might have to dodge for now. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to endure and dodge for a little bit because there's two around him and they can focus him down. I don't want that. Damn it. 
I don't like you, lady. But I am going to counterattack while I'm here, which is also why I wanted to make sure that I had points left. Because I can, in fact, counterattack. Okay, now she's dodging. And I did more damage to her than she did to me. All right. We're now over here. We're trying to get around. I'm trying very hard to get around right now. So I can go destroy them. Because I know I can. Once I get there, I know I'll be okay. I just need to get there and get behind them. That's when we can hit a lot more of them. Do a lot more damage. I'm trying to bind them down at the moment. I'm not that. No, I'm not going to jump down here. There's some loot up here too, which is pretty cool. Ambush stance. I could have had a very nice ambush too. Had I planned it accordingly. Hold on, let's go look real quick. Yeah, we're heading down the right way. There's two over here. There's two over here. So there's like, what, four total. And I'm heading over from behind. There's their cart. I could even get their cart. Oh, man. If they get out of here, I'm going to get them. It's going to be pretty good. All right. I'm going to have you dodge again. Just want you to try to stay alive right now. Just dodge. Uh oh. You failed. Good. You attacked my poor ghoul again. But you're. You should be freaking out. I'm going to perform a counterattack. 34 damage. That's a lot of damage. Disease carrier. So now she has a disease. It's a good passive ability. Dodge stance. So she's going to be able to dodge, unfortunately, too. I'll have to really try to get her down. I might try to just focus on her. Probably should have from the very beginning. I just want to put them all out of action. Where are they now? Let me go look around real quick. Where are you moving? I can hear them shuffling. And we're over here. All right. Enemy turn again. Whose turn is it? They're not striking me yet, are they? I think there's like an option to make them go by faster. I wonder how that works out, though. Oh, Warhammer. I love you. <laughs> Don't kill me, Prince. I'm finally getting my ghouls over here, but yeah, I definitely know now to be a little bit more watchful of what they're doing. Okay, there we go. There we go. Can I get by you? They have left the battlefield. That's good. I can't get by you. I can jump down over here, though. Shoot. Here, I'll jump down. Let's try it out. Pretty good agility. So we're doing okay on that front. We just need to go. Oh, we're almost there, too. We're almost there. Here's a boon of ruin. Van Gulli here. Well, I don't want him to resist it. <laughs> Not me. Yeah, if they want to come out here, we're going to get them. Okay. I want to either kill... I could try to kill her. Darn it. Pretty good chance to hit, too. Unless I misread that. I don't think I did. There we go. 33 damage. She's taking a lot more. We sold a Quintus. Now I can dodge. Man, that's how tough your leader is. The vampires are no joke. Okay. Now I get to... I want that loot, but I need to go fight now. Please don't fall. You did it. Yeah! Ho ho! Ambushed by Ghoul. Ah, yes. Hello. Greetings. I'm Ghouly. 39 damage. Dodge fell. Disease carrier. There we go. Okay, now you can dodge. They're pretty good at that. Minimal armor, I know, but I'm actually pretty impressed. I mean, my first time, I didn't know how well we would do. We have one nearly, you know, taken out, but we're actually doing okay. She's trying to dodge again. She's about to be surrounded by three characters. All right, pretty good shot to hit. 35 damage. Disease carrier again. It's a good penalty. Can only hit that one time and then dodging is what I'll do. But she's nearly down. That should be their leader. She's very strong, so it's got to be their leader. Okay, Isolda is here. Oh, hi. It's me. A very high chance to hit, too. Again, 48 damage. She's down. Now, they're in trouble. Oh, 10 damage, really? From what? Hold on. Let me get a look at her quick. Unwavering, Boon of Ruin. Oh, is that really a penalty? I am unwavering, but that might just be a default thing. Okay, a few of you might face palm at that. I don't blame you. <laughs> I'll have to be careful with that. I'll have to really carefully read that. Keep in mind, when I'm doing like a live Let's Play, I'm just kind of going through it. So, it's my first time. 
And my big thing is, it might be part one where I mess up, but imagine me in part 10. I might be a little bit better. All right, out of action. I'll have to Objective patch him up later. Update. That's cool. My vampire would duel you. There is my ambush, and now she took more damage. Surprise, too. Whoa. That was a crazy freeze up. Oh, she stunned me. Good for her. Damn. I got to hit her, but she stunned me. Okay. He sold his turn. Oh, no. There's another one. Crap. She's very well armored. Terrifying. Okay. I'm no longer stunned. These gals are uh, pretty terrifying, actually. All right. I'm very proficient at dodging. Look at that. 50% for that. That'd be quite handy. I want to finish her off. Shoot. I'll try again. Target 74. Got her. She's out of action now. Now they're going to be feeling pretty bad. Okay, I want to move out. I want to... No action is available. Shoot. Okay, let's keep on looking. She's going to jump down. I already know that. Okay. Let's get ready. We have more on the way. I could potentially jump up and go fight her directly. I think I'm going to loot that real quick. Ooh. Lissalote Hunslock's Holy. A holy tome. Bounty objectives. Okay. Sure. Discard it after battle. That's interesting. All right. I'm going to hit her too. Let's try it again. We missed that attack. That's unfortunate. We're a henchman, so that's what we get. Yeah, for a very unarmored squad, we're holding our own at the moment. No actions available. Can I? Oh, there we go. I was wondering. I was like, there's got to be a way for me to hit her. She's nearly gone. It's like, what? Only two more? Yeah. My henchmen are getting them. They took out one ghoul, but there's two more. All alone check. Oh, she made it. Yeah, my goals take a lot. Parry stance. You're about to get hit by three of them, though. Oh. She's up there waiting. You don't want to come down here? Weird. I don't know why she doesn't want to come down here. Oh, a parry. Good for you. Ooh. Amon the Reviver. They got her. Let's try that again. Got her. Okay, she's out of action now. I think what I'll do... I'm going to go ahead to their cart. It's going to be my cart now. I'm going to pillage it. Oh, check it out. Heavy armor. Oh, no. No. Hold on. I'll have to bring someone else here then. I wanted to pillage them, but that I'll have to wait. Okay. Let's just kind of get ready for another fight. I'm not going up there. You're coming down here. Jump down. There's Lucas Harkon. I don't think I've had him loot anything, really. I can loot her dead body, right? It's glowing a little bit. Maybe not. Okay, well, I'm going over here to go get some good old-fashioned loot. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. I'll be taking all of that, by the way. Hope you're not too mad. All right, if she jumps down, she's going to be ambushed. The White Rantedness. Okay, I'm going to have you potentially move in and ambush as well. Oh, here we go. Okay, yeah, I had to carefully get on top of her. There we are. That's what I'm talking about. There you go, Cheesy. There you go. Let's go up here and ambush. Just want to move right over here. And if she comes in, wow! Right by my goalie. Yeah, we're going to bring them up real quick. Let them do their thing. Right over here. There's two of them now, just waiting. Working in tandem together to ambush her. She didn't route. She's not jumping down. Okay, she wants me to go up there. I get it. A new round has started. Alright, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go after her directly. I could go after loot. While I'm here, I could get my Doom Weaver to go look around for that. 
scavenge over there. There's more weird stone. Well, no, he's filled up. Never mind. Can't really do that right now. So what we'll do, we'll climb up. I don't know if that'll be like in her radius, but I could charge. Whoa. It's going to be my turn for a while if we look at it. Yeah, get her. Oh, don't counter attack. Don't do it. Damn it. I thought maybe, just maybe we could be okay. Yeah. Buff. But we're not doing that right now. Dodge stance. So I have to. But I have my goal friends around. I really want to get up there though. I hope that I can make it up there. Come on. Make it. Climb. Darn it. Embarrassing. Again. Apparently I'm not very good at climbing. I have vampire butterfingers. There we go. He's going to be in my way, probably. I'm going to try anyway. Yeah, I had a feeling. I'll take that. Another holy tome. And while I'm here, ambush stance. Hold on, I want to move it around a little bit. There. If I move him back, I'm hoping he can pull back. But me... What do I want to do? I could go over there and just whack her one. There. I'll ambush two. Kind of a weird thing to do, but we're we're here. We're doing it. I can't move around. No actions available. Shoot. I've got more health too. We're all around her. What's she gonna do? Whoa. Good dodge. That time, she got him. Objectives That's okay. Updated. That's okay. She fell that time with terror test. And now I get to do damage. Beautiful. Alright. You're gonna be fighting two of my characters now. A new round has started. Let's go. Yeah, I'll have to patch him up. I made gold though. I know I did. We got them all. That was a lot of work, but we got them all. Beautiful. We've won our first battle. We fought a very beefy army, too. Or warband, too. Battleground victory, treasury, gathered during the mission, extra rewards. No, I didn't get enough then. Okay, Wings of Terror, two down. I took down all of them. Let's go look at it real quick. Most valuable warrior, the warrior from each team who contributed the most to the battle. They are rewarded with an extra experience point. So that would be Lucas Harkon, of course. Enemies locked out, plus 85. Damage on enemies, 252. And we did it. All mortal flesh must eventually wither and rot. Only those who have transcended such pathetic limitations are fit to rule. Complete. One day, the Empire will be ours. Well, for now, we're just a warband getting loot. Let's go look at it real quick. Experience has gone up. I'm going to make him kind of beefy, I think. A tanky guy. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Unpaid. I'll have to pay him or he's going to be pretty angry. Permanent injuries. Concussion. Four days. Eternal wound. And then we have a twitch. Okay. A brutal blow to the head has caused the warrior to suffer a concussion, causing it to sometimes be confused in battle. The warrior loses one strategy point, one offense point, and then minus one to agility. Wow. You were beat up, my poor friend. I'll have to treat you. But he did survive. One physical advancement. Amnesia. That's pretty funny. Maybe you forgot that you were a prince once. I don't know. I don't know how to be part of your backstory. Oh no! Amnesia! That's really bad. There you go. You're leveling up. To XP for surviving. That's all that you get. More for battleground victory. Items acquired. 19 gold crowns, weird stone shards, fragments, heavy armor, flail, short bow, long bow. There we are. Okay, war camp. Every time you return from a mission, you must pay the upkeep cost of your warriors as well as the treatment cost for any injuries they have sustained. Warriors will refuse to join missions until they are paid. So I need to go manage my warband. I've got to pay him. 
a lot of gold. So I wonder if I do need to actually go out there to go gather more. Anyway, you know what you're going to be good at. Parry has gone up. Melee has gone up. I want to make him quite durable. He hits hard already. I just want him to become more durable. I like that. Yes, I do. Equipment is over here. Skills are over here. Yeah, I would need a lot more to be able to go down that route. So I really can't do that yet. Need more skill points for it. We have right now a passive skill called Terror. Enemies who engage or start the turn engage with the user must perform a Terror test. And if they fail it, they will have their offense and strategy points reduced by 3. And that will remain with them until they pass a Terror test on turn start. And then if they pass it, they'll get immunity to Terror for one turn. That's really good. That's very damaging for them. Alright, back to my Warband. Pay Treatment. That's a lot of money. All right, you're costing me a lot. I don't know how I feel about that. Could fire him. He's injured right now. I can't really use him. I'll need to go get a few reserves, I think. Let's go look at reserves for heroes, maybe. All right. We got a Poison Wind Globadier. We have a Dreg. We have a Zombie for a Henchman. I'm going to need one for a Poison Wind Globadier. It looks like that's what I'll be getting for a hero. I like your two guns. That's pretty adorable. All right, gas mask, cover some gear. Clan rats trained to use the devious weapons of Clan Skyer. Globadiers are sold as warriors to ward bands by the warlock engineers. The warp zone gas in the globes can kill or cripple enemies or prevent wizards from casting spells. Other alchemical gases can strengthen or even heal those exposed to them. These sneaky ratmen even fabricate bombs disguised as weird stone to maim the unwary. Wow, they're pretty brutal. That is actually incredibly brutal. Let's go look at it again. Here's a vampire. I already have a vampire. I can only have one. Okay. Poison Wind, Globe of Deer. I like the one with two guns. I think that'll be useful. So I'm going to go ahead and get you as a reserve. That'll be a hero. I'll need a backstory for my reserve then. And then I want a zombie just for fun. They can be quite fun for bogging down your foes. So let's go ahead and look at it real quick. A lot of strength and toughness. Agility, very slow. You might even want to dictate like how fast you move by your zombies. I mean, just to kind of let them go forward and bog things down. Because you can have your vampire just destroy. But yeah, these guys can just kind of do what they want. They can bog stuff down. It's really a lot of fun. Uh, okay, let's go look at it real quick. All alone. Dodge, parry, initiative, 54, movement, 4. That are okay. 112 health. I don't have a zombie. I know I have a few backstories for them. I like how they're in the background. Okay, and you guys are pretty cheap. I don't mind that at all. Pay. Okay, I want you to become tougher. Confirm. I wonder if I can give him any gear to wear, though. That would be interesting. I could go look at that real quick. Let's go look at that real quick. I don't know if they can. I doubt it. But if they can, I want to check it out. Yeah, I didn't think so. They can wear clothing. Over here, empty. It's a backup weapon. I think they're good on weapons right now. Let's go back to my hero. I mean, you're not going to be fired. I'll keep you for now, but you're looking pretty rough. Okay. Agility. Oh, wow. Your agility is incredibly high. I didn't know how high it was. I'm going to make all of you just much beefier for it. I want you to have more skills later, but you're injured right now so it doesn't really matter I can give you heavy armor that would be interesting but not really prudent I could give it to my vampire he would be a little bit slower but that wouldn't be bad I don't want him to have a shield though I'm not really interested in his shield I just want more damage output now you you're a Harkon I could give you heavy armor oh what look how cool he looks now damn Okay, he's got to have that now. He's a freaking Harkon, right? He needs it. No, you're keeping that, buddy. I like that way too much. I'm going to give you a helmet. No, you look amazingly cool. He's going to be so durable now, too. Let's go back to the shop. Let's go look at what I can pick up. No, that's good. Don't really have any armor. There is a helmet. I want to give helmets to my other characters. I don't know, actually. 
pretend it wouldn't hurt. I'll take one of these. All right. Crimson Shade increases initiative by 10 for two turns. Not stackable. Permanent injuries. Ooh, I don't want that. I like how they all have penalties, man. But look at how cool he looks. I mean, for our next battle, he's going to be pretty great. Let's go look at it real quick. Idle buff effect, plus 25% to weird certain resistance, plus 25% to all alone tests for da da da. One henchman slot. Okay. We're looking at what we have right now. I like how they're persistent. You can look at my history. Days active, gold crowns, 550 more 544. Definitely need a lot more. I'm at 398 now. I need a lot more. I'll have to go look at the factions later and just see what I need to pick up. I can go to the next day in just a little while. Okay, let's go back to my leader. I want to look at him one more time. I want to go over here to his equipment. And just check out. Not as cool looking. I will admit that. But. Will I give him that? I don't know. Thinking about it. So that's all I can really have. I'm going to give him an amulet instead. Yeah. I think that will do it. I wonder if I can put... What can I put on you guys, anyway? You do have amnesia. That's really unfortunate. I wonder if that will ever go away. Alright. But, yeah. Look at all of our perks here. They're pretty crazy. They can do a lot. Definitely. They can just really do a lot in battle. I find them fascinating. Okay. Disease carrier. On melee damage, inflicts a random debuff from the following. Minus 5 to initiative or minus 3% critical resistance. I mean, like, that's really good. And they're stackable and they'll last for 3 turns, too. That's why I like them so much. They can just debuff your foes into nothing. All right, you have clothing already. You've got your great weapon. I'm not going to give you much else. You can't... Oh, you can wear an amulet. That'll work. I'll give you that. Okay, I think we're going to call it here. I'm going to need to go read more, learn more about the game. Make sure that you give me tips and feedback. If you see any character like the Skaven with no backstory, make sure that you post a backstory down below or on the link down below. So check that out. But if it's not there, then just in the comments and that will do. I really do hope that you enjoy our new series. It's a lot of fun. I'll have to find out why um, there's like a little freeze here and there. Won't be a big deal. Other than that, I'm having a great time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like down below and do comment. Comments are great feedback. I do read them all, so make sure that you put in time to put in a comment. And as always, until then.